Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now back in January you may have heard about the NVIDIA GeForce GT 1010. Now this is or is supposed to be a low-end card that replaces the long in the tooth GT 710 that is still so popular among those eBay gaming systems. The GT 1010 makes some improvements on the specs. It's technically a cut down GT 1030 based on the old Pascal architecture of course and uh, I've seen some hypothetical benchmarks from Aussie at Oz Talks Hardware. I'll leave a link to that video down below but I've actually not seen any real benchmarks. Well, not as far as I can tell. I've seen a couple of benchmark videos here on YouTube, but they don't actually show the card itself, and I can't verify that these are 100% genuine because of that. Plus, any time I search for the GT1010 on Google, I ask about it on Twitter, or I look on eBay at past sold listings, there's literally no trace of this card. So the whole GT1010 thing started back in January when... I think it's a user here on YouTube by the name of Daps actually posted a video um, regarding the 1010's drivers being available on the NVIDIA site. They reached out to NVIDIA who confirmed that the 1010 did in fact exist or was due to appear on the market at some point and we never really heard anything more about it. Three months later, January, February, March, April, well sort of four months later now and still we're in the same position because a lot of people though were asking me about this as well I decided to do a little bit of an investigation and I came up with this new series that I'm going to call Steve Thoroughly Investigates ST no <laughs> that's not a good that's not a good title back to the drawing board with the title we need new titles down in the comments please for this mini series what i'm going to do in this little series then is investigate uh, just various different things things like this potential scams on ebay things like that we're just going to do a bit of investigation regarding things that either you tag me in on twitter at rg in hd by the way or things that i catch wind of on the internet so the gt1010 i decided the best way to go about asking about this card whether or not it did in fact exist this mysterious card whether it was actually due to release um i decided the best way to go about it was actually ask nvidia themselves and that's exactly what i did now some of you might forget that there was no real official announcement this card literally just appeared under the nvidia drivers list so they never actually came out and said here is the GT 1010, it's coming out whenever, and at the moment it's probably not amongst NVIDIA's top priorities. I connected to a couple of agents on the NVIDIA live chat, and both times, neither of them could actually confirm the existence of this card, and none of them could really tell me when it was going to release. I tried to get information out of them, and I am sorry for any of uh, anyone from NVIDIA watching this video um, for harassing your online agents. But yeah, I really wanted to know about the existence of this potential low-end GPU. One person actually told me to check with OEMs and that's exactly what I thought I'd do. I went over to Dell who also offer live chat support and after having no luck with the NVIDIA chat, I started asking the same questions, only this time I asked if Dell actually sold a system with the GT1010 inside, considering the first person over at NVIDIA live chat had told me to ask OEM system builders like Dell, HP and IBM. So I started off in the chat basically saying, hello, do you have any systems with a GeForce GT1010 inside? And I was very excited when uh, the kind lady on the other end of the chat said yes we do and I thought here we go finally the GT 1010 in all its glory in all its low end glory I'm going to be able to test this thing out so I said right okay and uh, she said what's the budget I said anything I just wanted to get my hands on one of these cars I don't care if it was paired with a i7 or an i9 at this point I just wanted a system with this thing inside and with this potential news that one existed and was being sold by Dell I thought well that's good. Let's uh, let's see if we can get hold of it and then we can make a video. However, the link that she sent me was actually for a system featuring a GTX 1650 Super. So I think our wires were somewhat crossed there. Yeah, uh, the 1650 Super is probably a bit better than the 1010, but, but there we go. Because of today's escapades then and because 
of having no luck searching anywhere else or finding any other systems on the market with this card inside nor could I find any sold listings on eBay or any for sale anywhere else I couldn't even find an image of this thing I have to say that the status of the 1010 in April is it still April it might be May by the time this video goes out the status of the 1010 is still non-existent I'm afraid mystery solved at the moment of course will the card actually come to fruition especially at a time like this when nvidia's priorities are probably elsewhere well it remains to be seen but i certainly do hope so um that about wraps it up for this video i wanted to make an update simply because after i posted about it on twitter a lot of you actually asked me about the card as well um asking me if i could get hold of one for review i'd love to but if it doesn't exist then what can you do anyway the 1010 Here's a quick update. It doesn't exist yet. This probably could have been a five second video, but I thought I'd uh, bring you the details of my thorough investigation. Yeah, we need a new title for this series. Thanks for watching then. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one when we'll be actually reviewing a piece of hardware that, that does exist and something that I can buy. Thank you and I'll see you soon.